Thanks for joining us again. In our last video, you saw us leave Port Louis Marina in St. George's Grenada and sail to Kiriakou where we anchored in Tyrell Bay. We got our scooters out and rode up to the town of Hillsborough. Now let's jump on a bus and do some more exploring. We are Rob and Michelle and this is our 2001 ML Super Marimu. Her name is Luna. Come along with us as we sail to new places. We took a bus from Tyrell Bay to Hillsborough where we hopped on another bus for a short yet curvy ride to the cute town of Windward. We jumped off the bus at the top end of town and walked down to the dock where we could look directly across to the island of Petite Martinique, which is only two and a half miles across. You can anchor there, but it's mostly a fishing village and not much to see or do from what I'm told. The rainbow coming out on Petite Martinique. One of the main reasons we wanted to come to Windward was to check out this place Pizza My Heart. This pizza shop is run by two sisters and they are known to have the best pizza not only in Kiriakou but all of Grenada. Rob's always finding a friend wherever he goes. So you're ready to have the best pizza in the Caribbean? We'll see how it works. Looks pretty good. They have a real pizza oven. We'll see. Nice crispy crust. Oh, I have a contender here. We'll see. First, still pretty hot. Yummy, 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 I got love in my tummy. After lunch, we continued walking through town. That's when we came across the other reason for coming here. Windward is known for their boat building, dating back to the 19th century. Hundreds of sailing vessels ranging from small fishing sloops to large trading schooners were once launched from the beaches of Kiriakou, more than anywhere else in the whole West Indies. And from motivation, you got a bar shack right next to him. Chill standing over here waiting for the bus so we don't get left behind. It's getting late, so we don't know quite how late the buses are running. And did you notice these trees in the background with the red stripes? This is to warn you that these are manchinelle trees, which are the most poisonous trees on earth. The fruit it bears is poisonous to eat, but you really have to watch out for the sap where a single drop can scorch the skin of shade-seeking beachgoers. So stay away from these trees, especially when it starts to rain. We decided to grab a drink at the infamous Snags before taking the next bus back to the boat. So 
So what do you do on holidays when you are thousands of miles away from home? You get together with other cruisers for a party. Can you get a fun day, honey, on the beach? A lot of fun. For you guys. So lots of people eating good lobster and hot lobster and everything else. Yeah, no lobster. I was holding out for turkey. Holding out for the turkey. Holding out for the turkey. Now see, how many people have wives that will skip a lobster for turkey? That's a cheap date. <laughs> I would like to welcome everyone to Karyaku. Thank you. Thank you. I am Lincoln. You can call me Linky, and that is only shortcut for Lincoln, right? <laughs> so what we'll be doing with what I'll be doing with you all this morning, we we'll take you on our historical tour. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Thank so you. just make yourself comfortable and feel free to ask questions. The first stop on the tour was Princess Royal Hospital. It opened in 1907 as Bellevue Hospital, which means beautiful view. The choice of the location was to reduce the spread of mosquito-borne diseases since the wind at the top of the hill is very strong and thus free of mosquitoes. It could cater to 20 patients. After Hurricane Janet in 1955, the hospital underwent major construction and renamed the Princess Royal to commemorate the visit of the Royal Princess. The hospital now has the capacity for 32 patients and probably around 20 sheep. In the 18th century, cotton, sugar, and indigo plantations were established. This one is the Belvedere Estate, built in 1810. This is what is left of it. This windmill is what remains of the Belair Estate. It was used for crushing sugarcane. The Ningo Well dates back to the 1740s, when Kiriakou was occupied by the French and was constructed by enslaved Africans. These slaves also process indigo, which is a dye made from the leaves of the indigo plant. Kiriakou has no permanent rivers or streams on the island, thus this well was vital as large quantities of water were needed in the process of extracting the dye from the leaves. Our last stop was the Thibault Cemetery. It's one of the oldest ones on the island and dates back to the early 1700s. The graves are being washed out to sea due to the removal of sand for mining and rising sea levels. I wonder how many graves are under the water right now. Of course, tragically, on any island on the windward side, meaning the side the wind comes from on the island, Usually they're all on the east side. You see tons and tons of plastic. Always razors, handles, little bottles, flip flops, plastic. Just... Then it gets worn down into little tiny bits. That ends up in the ocean and that becomes a problem. Vehicles rarely traverse the area as there are several scary stories associated with the cemetery. Maybe that's why you never see anyone. Just a herd of cattle being witness of history disappearing as each grave washes away. Jeez! Pretty crazy, huh? Be buried and everybody washing the ocean in uh, 20 years. I'll become fish food. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> Fifth test, maybe? Hi! 
You're a pro. Three, four, five, five or six. <laughs> Which note do you prefer? Which one? Alright. We're gonna do the right. Alright. <laughs> oh shit. Here we go again. finished getting our noses poked, we walked back to town passing all of the hard-working sheep and this guy on his donkey. Man, why was I not video recording? We made it to town to catch our friend Gary rescuing his dinghy. Now you know we're gonna have to give Gary shit now for uh, his dinghy floating off his little anchor. <laughs> At least he got it. <laughs> Gary, can you any words for the camera? <laughs> the surge. The surge. It was the surge. At least you didn't have to swim for it. I wanted to swim for it. <laughs> I was like, please. But you rescued him. <laughs> All right. I wanted to include these shots of one of the beautiful sunsets at Tyrell Bay. And we have to give a big shout out to the dogs of Kariaku. They are some of the friendliest pups that we've come across. <laughs> After two and a half weeks, it was time for us to leave the cute island of Kariaku, where it will always be remembered as a place with a hundred rum shops and one gas station. And they actually advertised that. So you ready to leave Grenada? I'm ready to leave Grenada. Rusting before our long two and a half hour trip. <laughs> Got my fishing pole ready. Trying a brand new lure or cedar plug. We haven't done that before. So uh, we're gonna have to get there and sit on quarantine. And bob around there somewhere different. Well, hopefully we'll only have to be there in quarantine till Wednesday. Maybe we'll do a couple update videos until then. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, it is Sunday and we are ready to take off to Union Island. The cabin here is all put away. Sailing ready. I hope. I'll find out if anything's on the floor when we get there. When it comes to leaving, Rob and I have our designated duties. I steer the boat, raise the anchor, set up the cameras. Rob fixes the cameras, removes this number, and points me on which direction the anchor is. Rob likes to brush off all of the gunk and muck that accumulates on the anchor chain as it's being raised. That probably makes us the slowest boat to leave the anchorage, but who's in a hurry anyhow? Okay, let's speed up things a little bit. Now it's time to burn rubber and head out of here. to get into St. Vincent and the Grenadines are one, we need to get a negative PCR test 72 hours before arrival. Two, test again upon arrival. And three, quarantine on a mooring ball until we get our
our results back. Ready for a new country? Ready for a new country. Oh, the coronavirus test? Woohoo! I'm excited. That's half the fun now. <laughs> Getting addicted to the nose tickle. Oh, maybe they'll do blood and nose. Let's see. Yeah, uh, just one stinking nose. Oh well. Oh, at least it's not going up the rear. Don't! <laughs> the little twist with the swab. <laughs> for us to be able to sail. So, at least it's only 12 miles, 10 miles to go over this place, so, oh well, charge up the batteries. <laughs> Forward thinking. And there's always stuff to do on the passage. Oh, what are you doing, Rob? Changing the hook from the snubber. So anytime we go from anchoring, this to hook on the anchor. And when we go to do the uh, mooring mold, we put the shackle on there. So you know, I quit being cheap and buy another snubber line. <laughs> or I just have to keep preemptively uh, changing it back and forth. At least this way makes it easier to get a hook onto the mooring ball instead of just tying a bunch of knots and things like that. identifier book we have yeah let's see it has like a blue long blue stripe along it i don't want to try to keep it if it's not gonna lost him well no fish today we lost him now you're probably wondering why Rob's out on deck. It's because you're required to take down a country's flag when you leave their waters. Well, that's easier said than done when it's windy, the boat's bouncing up and down, and you just can't get the knot untied. Then before you enter the next country, you're supposed to raise a yellow flag indicating you are new to their area and you need to clear in. Danger! <laughs> oh, my fingers are 
point in the St. Vincent and Grenadine chain of islands. There are 32 islands and keys, but only nine of them are inhabited. But don't worry, we didn't go to all 32 of them. And now you see we are magically parked by the power of no video footage. This is Clifton Harbor in the Loring Fields. We're a lot closer to green than we like. <laughs> Now tomorrow we go ashore for another PCR test. Stay tuned for the next video where we check out the town of Clifton, we sail to Tobago Keys, Beckway, and St. Vincent, we play with more dogs, and swim with turtles. See you soon! Don't forget to give us a like and hit that subscribe button to see our future videos.